I said that we had some pretty big updates I was going to share with you guys and this is one half of the very big update. This is my fiance Andrew. We met not long after I moved here last fall and we got engaged how long ago? Three weeks, three weeks ago? Mm, more than that. Four weeks ago? Maybe. Like maybe a month ago we got engaged. It's bad that I don't know maybe but a month ago so I wanted to introduce him on my channel officially since I think he'll be around for the long haul from now on and the second part of the update is that we are moving to Germany in August so that's very exciting and uh, yeah we're getting married in July moving to Germany in August and my vlog will continue there so if you guys want to see vlogs of Europe please keep following along my other update and the reason why I was leaving my apartment is because I decided to move down to Songtan to be closer to him so made that big decision and very happy seeing a lot more of each other lately. We were like about an hour apart driving and about two hours if I took the train or the bus to get to him. So obviously we made it work, but it's very nice to be closer together like we are now. So for this video that he's gonna be in on, we are going to be trying some Korean snacks sent to me courtesy of Snack Kim, which is a company that does these like subscription snack boxes. So if you are Korean living in the States and you miss a taste of home, if you just want to try some Korean foods, I definitely recommend going to snackkim.com and ordering one of their boxes. And if you like it, get the subscription so you can keep them coming. Um, all of the info will be linked in the description of this video, so definitely check that out. But we're gonna be trying these as two Americans who have been here for a, a good long while now, but we're gonna be trying these snacks and telling you guys what we did with them. Snacks are a perfect activity, huh? Rope me in for the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is nice. So we have some masks in here. Oh, we should have done the mask while we tried the snacks. It's not too late. It's not too late, actually. You might, but it will be hard to eat if you have a sheet mask on. Maybe. Yeah. I don't really know. You can do them after. Okay, so first thing we're going to try, just right here on top. Strawberry corns. Have you had these before? No. They look very interesting. It looks like pirate's booty. Strawberry flavored pirates for me. Yeah. So, okay, one of the biggest things about living in Korea that I didn't really expect is that chips here and like crunchy things here are often very sweet. I'll give you one. Very sweet. So, like, oh, these smell like honestly from Oops. I actually like them a lot. It's good, actually. They taste like really big. It's not too sweet. They're like really big fruit loops almost. The first hit is like a covered pretzel. Yeah. It's like soft like the covered pretzels. And then you got like crunchy inside. Yeah. It's not really crunchy though. Not super crunchy. They kind of dissolve quickly. Bring me on for my Korean pronunciation stuff. Mm hmm Yes, Andrew read Tongu. I'm not really allowed know. to unsubscribe after I try to read in Korean. No. You judgment must be not given. Oh, it's mm -hmm. gonna be really bad. That'll be ting. Uh Ting Chung. C-H-Y-O. N? Or K. Chok. Chok. Give it a chance. We can also have, uh, we can have people pay for some Korean lessons for see of us. Okay, so first snack right there. Excellent. Okie dokie. Next we're going to try, um, popped corn snack. It looks like it is like honey flavor. Okay, this should be good. Let's go. Let's looks go. like the corn nuts. Yeah, it does look like corn nuts. Those are my favorite. Can you open, please? Now you see why I'm really in the picture. Yeah. I'm not gonna be able to open them right enough. Sweaty hands. Oh, we, oh have we, no, we should just do this. Oh, you get our new shears. Hey, yeah, we bought some new Korean kitchen shears the other day. Very Korean. I thought I, thought I brought some over here. You want me to grab some shears? Yeah, let's get some shears. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's take the first one. Popped corn snack, honey. 
Hmm. These have a really interesting aftertaste to me. Do you taste that? It's kind like of like burnt popcorn. Burnt popcorn. The texture is awesome. The texture is really good. I'm delicious. a texture type of guy. Yeah, that's what I've kind of learned about Andrew. It's all texture with you. Okay, so I think that the aftertaste of this is kind of throwing me off. Definitely don't like these as much as I like the strawberry corn snacks. Okay, next we are going to go for these curly, swirly little crisps. Prediction: That's crisp. sweet or salty? Well, you didn't hear the name. If you heard the name, okay. then maybe you would know. Okay, name, and then I'm gonna see if it's sweet or salty. Ta, ta, we, sata, ta, we, sata. Okay, so I think they're gonna be. Sweet, 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 sweet. Is it sweet? It might be. No. Quisata. There's no obvious like. Honey. My guess is this is gonna be the first salty one. Okay, I. Bold I, prediction for Korea. I hope these are salty because I, I feel like these would be really, really good salty. So let's let's try. They're sweet. But they're, these are more of like a sweet salty. Ooh, very crunchy. They're very crunchy. Wow. I think these are potato. They taste more potato to me than corn. And they are sweet, but they're also a little bit salty. A little bit on the salty side. This reminds me of the cinnamon twists from Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. They're like really the, good. Yeah, I like that one. Okay, so, so far, those are my favorite of all the snacks that we've just tried. Okay, you pick the next one. Okay, I'm so down. This, this looks spicy, and I really hope that it is. Oh, it's, I think it's supposed to be tteokbokki. Tteokbokki, yeah. I think it's supposed to be tteokbokki. There we go. Spicy tteokbokki flavor chips. How can this be bad? Well, just you wait. <laughs> tteokbokki is one of my favorite foods that I've had here in Korea, honestly. Mm. Guess what? They're sweet. They're sweet. <laughs> Somehow. Surprise. Surprise. I think that as an American, the thing that has struck me the hardest is the lack of salty snacks that I've been able to find. Because even things like that, we have a lot of things like this in America. like takis and hot Cheetos that are really, really salty, spicy snacks. Mm. That one gets a little spicier. After it's a little bit spicy, it kind of builds. They're good, but I expected them to be most salty. And they're sweet, Koreans love their sweet snacks. Good. Mix it up, not chips. Yeah, let's go for something that's not chips. We're gonna go for these um, fruit, snacks. fruit snacks. What's the, what are they called? Ma'i sumi. They look like grapefruit snacks. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Big. These are huge, yeah. These are really good. Fire. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong with that. I do love gummies. They're oh very God. gummy. You want my Milky Milky Cocoa Bus? Yeah. We haven't discovered anything to be an American word in hiding yet. Yeah. Which is sad. I was it expecting at least one. Sometimes a font with Korean yeah. words is hard to read if you don't if you're not very good at reading Korean. Soft. Ooh, okay. So these actually look kind of like soft little like chocolate. Looks like Reese's Puffs. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Eat them up, beat them up, beat them up, beat them up. It smells kind of like it too. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Mm. So crunchy. Crunchy. I'm not allowed to comment because it's chocolate. Okay, yeah. A good old classic case of COVID caught me out a little more than a year ago. I didn't experience any symptoms except for uh, some congestion and pressure here, except for losing taste and losing smell, mm -hmm. which affects me still to this day. Yep. It's like 15 months later, um, taste was completely gone. And then when it came back, everything was very different and chocolate was especially bad. Yeah. And I'm actually not a huge chocolate person anyway. So I don't mind, we never fight over like desserts to split or anything like that. Oh, okay, so I have had these before. We should have these next. These crown hazelnut. So they're kind of like the pure pirouettes. Those wafer cookies, is that what they're called? The pirouettes? The thin hazelnut filled Pepperidge Farm. Like, not Milano, because they're like the straw shaped ones. I'm gonna Google them and put a picture of them here. Right here. So you guys know what I'm talking about. I don't think I'm a crazy person. I think they're called pirouettes, but they are like a wafer hazelnut filled like tube of like cookie kind of. And I feel like I always see them at like Christmas parties. Like they're one of those finger foods. 
These are just like those, but they are hazelnut instead. They're so good. Um, well, they're like white hazelnut instead. So I guess the other ones are also hazelnut. These are like a vanilla hazelnut. Really, really delicious. It's like a vanilla hazelnut. So you see like on the Why inside. Why did you split them like that? Because I tried to split it like this and it <laughs> wouldn't. So I had to do like this. Okay. Oh yeah. Ah. Oh. Mm. So good. Mm, that's good. You like it? Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not my style. He's, he's been munching on these uh, oh. talk about key chips over here. I've been munching on everything. <laughs> everything. Next, I kind of really want to try these other talk about key chips because I look and they feel kind of like they might be like ramen that's been seasoned. I love eating dry ramen and um, it would really make me happy if this was like seasoned dry There's ramen. There's also talk about Yeah. Like, zero tea, so. Yeah. Oh. How cool. <gasps> oh, okay, this oh, is exciting. Cool. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's like little ramen. Oh my gosh, it smells salty too. Mm. Oh man, this is good. Not as flavorful as I would think. Yeah, but definitely a little saltier But side. I love the texture. The texture is amazing. It's like little round dried ramen hockey pucks. That fall apart. Yeah. The texture is really, really satisfying. So they're a little bit spicier, but they're still on the salty side. These are these are my favorites so really far. Good. All right, next. Oh, we haven't tried to pronounce it. Either. Oh yeah, sorry guys. Okay, the tokoki chips. Is, um, Soggy pups are called. Chol, byung. Chol byung. Chol byung. There you go. Next. Next. These little chocolate filled. Things. I might sit this one out, but that's okay. These are called C oh cereal. Oh, cereal. It's like a chocolate filled mini wheat, is what it looks like. Chocolate filled mini wheat. There we go, our first uh, angle sized word. <laughs> okay, let's try these. Oh, these are yummy. It really tastes like chocolate filled cereal. I feel like we actually do have something similar in the US, a cereal that has chocolate on the inside like this. My mom was not huge on letting us have junk food in the house when I was younger. But every now and again, we could talk her into getting us like a really sugary cereal and we would demolish it. Like I have, I have three younger siblings. We have a very big family. And we would demolish it over the course of like two days for breakfast. And I feel like I remember having a chocolate cereal like this. Mm. All right, we got three more. Okay, three more things to try. Mm, four. Okay. So this is Lotte chocolate. What is it? What did it say? Uh, Concho. Concho choco. Cute. Okay. Okay, let's go into this one. Oh, another little like pouch inside the box. Classic. Classic. Oh, these look like little like rolls, little bread rolls. Mmm. Okay. I like these more than I like the other of the chocolate cereal. The outside just has a better flavor to me. Mm. And I like the crunch more. Obviously very, very similar to the chocolate cereal, but I don't know, this is just slightly better in my opinion. Okay, you pick next. Do we go for the classic? Yeah, let's go for the classic. Honey butter swept Korea like a, like a frenzy. Mm-hmm. As soon as honey butter stuff hit the shelves, so everyone went nuts. It's everywhere. So these are honey butter almonds. I've had the peanut version of these, honey butter peanuts, and they're delicious. Puff me. But, uh, Another uh, Koreanized English Easy peasy. Word. I can do those ones all day. Easy peasy. Okay. So they're just like kind of coated and like. I don't know if I've had honey butter. Oh, really? Flavoring before. They're yummy. They're kind I've of like. Honey coated? butter chips. Like this? Or oh, I haven't had the chips, just the nuts. Yeah. They're good. Oh yeah. You like them better than the garlic bread? A thousand times better. <laughs> Just thinking about this gives me PTSD. This brand has garlic bread. Garlic bread? What is garlic bread? Garlic bread. Garlic bread flavored almonds. I thought they were fine. They were some of the worst things I've ever She spit them out the window. Tasted. At 80 miles an hour. <laughs> I'm not even like that picky about, well, okay. I say I'm not picky, but then I like don't eat meat. 
and I hate smoked salmon. I don't like chocolate all that much. Not picky. I'm not picky though. So maybe I'm a little bit picky, but the way that Korea eats their like, so garlic bread in the States, if you're Korean, you've never had um, food from America. Garlic bread in America, super salty, garlicky. Normally there's cheese on it, like Parmesan cheese. That's how I'm used to having it, super savory. And in Korea, they do garlic bread, but it's very sweet. I don't exactly know if they put like some kind of syrup or if it's just like sugar or what they do, but it's very, very sweet. And like the opposite of how I've had my Korean or my garlic bread in the past. And I really don't like it at all. So. Well, as you know, I'm very good at making garlic bread. Yes, Andrew's very good at making garlic bread. I think the first time that we had friends over and we cooked for dinner, he made garlic bread. And it was delicious, but it- It was not cooking. It took- And our tiny little, well, at least I have an oven. Yeah, yeah. He actually has an oven. I have been using an air fryer since I've been here, which is not really an oven. Um, and cannot really substitute an oven, but the oven like wasn't on for the first like 30 minutes. He was trying to- And then to it wasn't closed bread. after. Yeah, and then it was open. So either the hot air just wasn't in there, or it was all escaping. And so this garlic bread, we were like done with our pasta completely by the time the garlic bread was out. I think it was delicious. It was delicious. It was super good garlic bread, but it just took like eight hours to cook. But it was worth it was worth the wait. Actually, we should make it again soon. No, you're gonna make fun of me. <laughs> I'm not gonna make it. You're gonna make fun of me. Please. No. Okay. Next, we're gonna go back for more chips. I'm kind of nervous about these. Do you think these are bacon? Doesn't matter. You're trying them anyway. They look because like... we don't because we can't read it. Well, we can try. Okay, we're gonna try it, and if it's meat, then. And I've eaten it, but I might spit it out if it's bacon. Quaso, or quaso, quaso, quaso. Okay. I think. I think it's what it says. No, it's like sesame, maybe. Oh. Okay. Yeah, sesame seeds. Okay. It smells good, actually. Okay. Let's try these. Little shell chip looking things. Hmm. Love the crunch. A little too glazy on the sweetness. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. They are good. Somehow nothing we had was salty. Yeah. That's okay. This it's was okay. kind of salty. I mean, again, Americans like our salt. I feel like Koreans trying American snacks would be like, why is everything so salty? All right, what were your top three? Okay. Ranking number one, cannot change. I love these. Number two is gonna be the grape gummies. And then number three, I'm gonna keep my hazelnut. I'm gonna go for a completely separate three. Not Tied three. for first and second. <clears throat> I would say that these are chalk picks. Mm -hmm. Bookie and extra crunchy spiral boys. Mm -hmm. And then a surprising third place, I'm going with strawberry corns. Mm. Unexpected. Unexpected. Overall, these are awesome snacks. I'm talking with an apple. It's very rude of me, Andrew. Sorry. But really, if you're in America and you're watching my vlog because you're interested in life in Korea, I would recommend ordering this. They're a Korean based company, but they ship everywhere. So you guys should absolutely use the code that I have to get yourself a box. And that way, you can have a taste of all of these things. I know some places in America have lots of like Asian grocery stores where you might be able to go and find these snacks for yourself. But if you're from a smaller town, like we both are back in the States, then it's kind of hard to find snacks like this. So I definitely recommend that. Thank you so much for sending this to me, Snack Kim. Stuck Big shout out. Mm -hmm. This was really, really fun to try. And um, yeah, please stay tuned. We have some really fun things coming up. We are leaving to go back to the States and visit our family. Um, on Thursday and I'm going to definitely be filming some stuff back in the States and then we'll be back in Korea for about a month and a half before we leave to go get married and then we leave to uh, go to Germany mm. and yeah, so very very excited about all those things. There will be lots of Europe travel coming up and uh, yeah, now Andrew's going to be a very common regular feature on my channel. So that's me. Yeah, I'm very very excited about that. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and uh, subscribe if you like the video. Give me a thumbs up. Okay. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye. Bye.
Okay, we forgot to eat the gum. We're doing it right now. <laughs> it's a little papery. Is it? No. I'm no surprise. Yeah, it kind of looks papery. <laughs> yeah, you want to try it? <laughs> yeah, sure. How yummy. How's that tasting? Well, I'm actually getting through the paper, so I'm starting to taste the strawberry. Oh. Peach. Peach? Actually, I'm tasting the peach a lot. Tasting. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Oh, I know there's a papery taste. It's because there's paper on it. No. <laughs> oh, it's really peachy. Really peachy. Too sweet for me. I'm really sour. Oh, but you're a little sour baby. Uh -huh. though, aren't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't like sour food very much. I don't think it's gum. Maybe it's like a little. I think it's like a Starburst chewy candy. What are the new ones called? The high and low. High chew? Hachu. I love Hachu. That's probably what this is. Do you think this is sour? A little bit. Oh. You like sour stuff though. Yeah. It's not sour. It is not sour. It's not meant to be sour. Anyways, that was the last of it. Not gum like we thought. Chewy candy like Hachu. Texture was great. A little bit sour for me, but I am a baby when it comes to sour things. I don't like sour candy. With the peach flavor was really spot on. Mm. Mm. Very delicious. So that officially wraps it up. Yeah. Thank you.